Weather Authority with Jessica Wheeler. Happy Friday and welcome back. No rain on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. It is going to be a mild afternoon, but cooler. Highs are along the 50s. And today, it is going to be a dry one, partly sunny skies. A look at South Terre Haute on our Graber Post Buildings camera. That rain out of the area. We did have some scattered showers later yesterday and during those overnight hours. Most of the storms, though, were south of the Wabash Valley, although did want to share this. I did take this photo in Rosedale last night. A nice view, a beautiful rainbow yesterday evening. And we do want to make you aware there were National Weather Service severe weather spotter training sessions. Those have been canceled. There were a few sessions remaining here locally with the National Weather Service, but due to the coronavirus, those classes are canceled. So do want to make you aware for those that were planning on attending. But looking at the next couple of days, colder temps tomorrow as we are going to decrease down to 40. We do have rain in the forecast, even flurries possible as well. Now, once we do hit next week, spring temps are back in the forecast. It is going to be a dry kickoff, but more rain once we do hit next week. And currently at the Terre Haute Airport, 42 degrees. It does feel a bit cooler at 36. West and northwest winds up to 20 miles per hour. Currently 10 in Terre Haute. And as we take a look at those regional temps, 40 in Chicago, 41 in South Bend. Locally, many in the 40s. 45 in Vincennes, 42 in Terre Haute. Also 40 in the Champaign area. Again, those highs today near 50. And looking at those northwest winds up to about 20 miles per hour. Going to calm down a little bit throughout the afternoon, but still a windy day ahead. In fact, winds quite strong early this morning off to the west. We did have some gusty winds up to about 40 miles per hour, but on our future cast, partly sunny skies throughout the afternoon, a couple of clouds moving on through. We are going to be dry for today, but our next system off to the west, it is going to bring that precipitation in once we do hit tomorrow. And in that system, there is some winter precipitation. Now, a cold front is going to drop our temps down to about 40. As you can see, most of that winter precipitation is going to be far up north. Not a lot moving on through, but don't be surprised if you do see some flurries once we hit tomorrow. Little accumulation, and keep in mind those roads are warm, more likely to remain on those elevated surfaces like the grass. And taking another look at that precipitation, that system off to the west, far up north, the winter precipitation, down south, much of the rain. Not a lot moving on through. Again, those numbers are low, but something to keep in mind. We do have that scattered activity tomorrow. You may see some snowflakes as well, but we are going to end the weekend dry. Next system next week, we do have more scattered showers, warmer temps, and a, what, a large system once we do hit Thursday, even potential storms. The end of next week. Now, for today, a high of 51 in Terre Haute, dropping down to about 40 overnight. And then tomorrow, highs along 40, the coldest day of the week. We do have that system in the forecast, rain and potential flurries. And looking at the next couple of days, we are going to slowly warm up as each day does pass by. So, the right. spring time's back next week in the 50s. Ending the week, though, at 65, we do have scattered showers. And as you can see on Friday, too, we do have that potential of some thunderstorms. But 65. I know. I will take those yeah, times. Just Quite a me, difference. Oh, yeah. Just give me a sunny day on there, and we'll be, we'll be good to go. Oh, I know. Me, too. Well, check.